love. Mm -mm. So many people use your name in vain. Love. For better or worse, I still will choose you first. Oh, oh. I'm not a singer. I just play with it. But I could play with it a little bit. I'm good a little bit, but I'm not Aretha. I just like playing with it. But I love that song. And I was singing it because you get so many people who just misuse that word. And, um, you know, when you say you love somebody, you should really mean it. And if you don't mean it, then don't say it. Don't say you love, but you love with conditions. You love only when it's convenient. Anyway, if you don't know me, my name is T. Alika, Tony Hickman, uh, they used to call me Slim Goody on Suave House. Um, I've had two brain aneurysms and a stroke. I say that every video. It's just like, you know, eventually, should I stop saying it? But it's become a part of my identity, right? Um, so anyway, uh, I did a book, all that good stuff. Go to the website right here, and then you can check it out. Um, check out all of my story. I'm making another video. A couple of things, all things always on my mind. You know, uh, we're about to pr approach 2014, and um, I'm really excited about it. You know, it's gonna be an interesting year. Uh, it's a divine year if we do numerology, you know. Um, four plus one is five and then two. So that's like the number seven. So it's a really divine year. Um, and I choose to make the most of it. So my last video, I was telling you guys I was going to do the Dr. Sebi diet. And basically... Uh, you know, it's the Dr. Sebi diet, but it's really also just choosing health over everything. It's so easy for us to eat unhealthy. It's temptation around us everywhere. I mean, donuts, honey buns, you know, snicker bars. It's so much stuff that is unhealthy for us and it's right around us, you know? And so... We have to become disciplined in our eating if we want to gain extreme health. Now, my situation, I was raised a seven-day Adventist, so health was shoved down my throat. But I have had my fried pork chops. I have had chicken wings. I've had all of that. Like, I've had uh, pig tongue. What is it? Cow's tongue? I don't forgot what it is. It's either cow's tongue or pig tongue. And now when I think about eating it, I'm just like, ugh. You know, I ate that, but we would eat it with cheese and crackers. And it was so good. I remember that. As a little girl, like when I went to go and live with my uh, grandmother in the country, I stayed with her for like two years. And she owned a subdivision. So she had pigs and chickens and horses i mean she had almost every animal and we ate a whole bunch of animals you know but the pig we ate pig we ate pork chops and when i taste my first pork chop it was the best taste ever now i can't stand the smell of it um but since i was raised a vegetarian you know when i went back to my mom's mm, i'm always burping on my videos <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but when I went back to my mom's, you know, she's strictly like only vegetarian, vegan lifestyle. And I was always reading Back to Eating and the Mucusless Diet and, you know, all of these books that teach me about understanding my own health. 
Um, and like I said, none of my health situations came from high blood pressure or anything. My health situations came from a variety of things I may have been doing to myself on top of stress. Um, and then, you know, it's a debate about chemicals on my skin and in my hair, So, which is why I'm natural. I wrote the book Chemical Suicide because I was told by doctors to keep chemicals out of my hair. So I would be crazy if I'm told by doctors to keep chemicals out of my hair and then I still put chemicals in my hair. Like, So I stopped that. But um, none of my health situations happened because of me being, um, I guess, under high blood pressure issues or anything like that. Like, the doctors can't tell me why it happened. I can say why, but I don't have a solid, definite excuse or reason for it. But what I can do is take care of myself. If I want to take care of myself, then I'm going to eat right. I haven't eaten sugar in years. I haven't... Um, I haven't eaten meat. I play with fish every blue moon and cheese every blue moon. Cheese has been my weakness. I'm not going to front. Cheese has been my weakness. Uh, and I don't eat it every day. But I like cheese. Uh, but I'm, not, I'm giving up cheese for the new year. And that's the only thing dairy that I've done. Not that that's good. I know cheese isn't good. Um... But that's the only thing dairy that I've done. So I am eliminating cheese for 2014. I'm eating really healthy. I only am eating processed. I mean, look at me. No, no processed foods. Only foods that are in their natural state. And if I cook it, it's going to be still in its nat natural state. So if I cook kale, then it's going to be kale. And that's how I'm going to do that, you know. Um, and I'm really pushing to see how far and healthy I can get. Um, there's a lot of health gurus on YouTube that I've watched. And I'm kind of like one myself, you know. I just, I haven't really pushed it. Um, because I feel like to be 100%, I have to do it 100%. I don't eat sugar and people just be like, how do you do that? But at the end of the day, when you stop eating it, you stop craving it. And I don't do agave or honey or none of that. I don't do any sweeteners, uh, only fruit. That's it. So, um, you know, discipline is a major part of changing your diet. And... If you want to change your diet and lose weight, you want to change your diet and overcome disease, you have to become disciplined, just like I do, and I'm still doing it. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to share with y'all. I'm, I'm so looking forward to 2014 because uh, it's a lot of things on the plate that I'm really excited about, and uh, a new book coming out and the new book is really um it's right up my alley it's me and my mom's project and we've been working on it for a very long time so um yeah that's what it is on another note y'all see this painting beside behind me now i showed you in a couple of my other videos don't forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button yeah, hit the subscribe button. But y'all see this painting? Let me move out the way just a little bit. Y'all see my painting? Ain't that fly? Okay, y'all see the name down there? Look at that name right there. You see it? I can't make it zoom because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. That's me. I did that. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I've started painting. I've been doing it. Um, I would say that is my first big painting period I've never done a painting that big um, and I owe that inspiration to a good friend of mine Danny Russo who um, he's just he's an all-around good guy he's just somebody who 
definitely is in my corner and pushes pushes me to like uh, I guess be the best I can be but also be my most creative and um, he inspired me to start painting and I didn't know I could do all that so when I did it I was like damn I did that you know so I've been painting and I'm doing more now because <laughs> I'm excited about it um, so it's just the time and I'm, I'm fitting it in because when I paint it's just so much uh, meditation that comes out of it because see this I didn't plan that I just came to the board and I started painting and that was it I didn't say oh I'm paint that it just came out that way so um, it's a form of meditation because that's the only thing I'm focused on is that instead of like my mind going a million and one ways you know so um, yeah I believe in being creative and so many of us don't even know how much creativity is in us because we don't take the time to explore it um, so that's something that I have been doing in my spare time and uh, I encourage anybody to do it because you just never know you could be the next Picasso or the next Maya Angelou or you know the next Erica Badu like you can be the best you you can be but first you have to experience how far you can go so my Alika lesson is come on for this for this next coming year for this divine year coming up 2014 let's be the best we can be in our health in our creativity in our intuition in our love let's give love let's not judge let's be great let's unite let's help let's inspire like let's be the greatest we can be there's a lot of YouTube uh, gurus that I recommend Dr. Sevi first uh, well I can't say he's first but as far as health is concerned you want to fix your life fix your health He's one of the best I would recommend on YouTube. Um, Dr. Pukram, I love her. Uh, she's very wise and spiritually wise. So I, I suggest women and men really watch her. She talks about the power of our womb and, you know, how our womb is really heaven and how our womb uh, needs to be protected and, you know, protected so anyway that's a long story I'm not making a long video but 2014 I've had some people already on my other video said they are joining me in my health quest we are going to eat healthy I am eliminating sugar well I've eliminated sugar it's been about two years but I suggest eliminating sugar if you don't eliminate it at least slow it down and you will see a major difference in your weight gain and all of that sugar and yeast if we can eliminate that out of our diets we can change our life so on that note I hope y'all well I wish you peace I'll be back soon and we gonna do this for 2014 2014 is divine let's get it peace